Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. Um, after my last video, you asked me to do a video uh, talking about the different batteries I've used and why I've used them. So I'm looking at a lead acid battery. We're not going to discuss it because I don't use them anymore. Here is a Nissan Leaf cell. Um, if you look in there, my Nissan Leaf battery is in there. And this was cheap actually this looks a bit damaged because it's swollen so this is definitely damaged um, when it swells like that is damaged so what are the advantages of the Nissan Leaf um, price per kilowatt hour is very competitive I think it's the cheapest of everything that I've purchased um, you can do them in multiple different configurations you can do them in 12 24 48 volts or even a little higher um, the disadvantage is, is use cell, even though they are very high quality use cells, um, you take the liability because the capacity is not really quite guaranteed. Depends on how the last person who had who owned the car had used them. So and also I take upon the liability of having to put together um, a battery management system. And I'm dependent on my skill on getting a good battery management system and then a, an equalizer to make it work. So this, while it's great for a DIY or for someone who's really good at DIY, it makes sense. For people who run a business like I do, it makes no sense because you're taking on way too much risk. As you can see, this is damaged. So this is either as a result of an overcharge and over discharge and we've damaged it and we damaged quite a few of those we want to take, continue to take those risks with our clients i'm not very sure so that's the nissan leaf um i have the fiat i believe these are fiat cells um pretty impressive i like the way they're packaged uh these are six s's so the voltage which you run is very limited i think the max you could do is about 24 point some odd volts and your bottom is 20 volts, a lot of inverters are 18 I believe, a lot of inverters will not go to the low many inverters want to go beyond the high worked perfectly, I've had it, I've had, I had it with a client for over 2 years, they worked fine, no issues whatsoever no BMS, we just basically connected, connected the 3 that are in here in series yes, plus, no, in parallel, sorry and we didn't have any issues, they worked fine um, they are one kilowatt hours each, so we have three kilowatt hours right in this little box here. So it wasn't like everything else they is used from electric, electric car. They are repurposed just like the Nissan Leaf and buyer beware. And then you also take the liability of having to put together a BMS. You have to know what you're doing and then connecting it properly. You know, it's just way too much work. For a business but not that much work for someone who's a diy type person as a diy type person this is perfect you can make it work and you could make you know if you're doing very small numbers of installation it makes sense but when you want to scale up it does not make any sense one you can run you are not always sure you can get them uh two when you get them you're not sure the quality you're getting which other cells have i used i've used a tesla smart the Tesla Smart was fantastic. It's still running. I have um, 18 kilowatt hours running an air conditioning system. They're very flat. They're about as long as from here to here. Maybe a little longer. And they're about as thick as that. And they're putting out 18 kilowatts. I think they're the 18650 cells. And they've worked incredibly well for me. Um, difficult to find, but when you find them, they're... I mean, no complaints. We didn't put a BMS on them, and they've worked fine. Also, I use the LG Chem. The LG Chem are running fine all the solutions I have. The one I have had problems with was a problem created by the client themselves, and they've worked beautifully. Sadly, I don't have a picture of it to show you. Um, the Wico. So, Wico builds pretty good battery. They give you a cycle life that's beyond what the industry gives you. I think they tell you you're looking at 6,000 cycles, cycles and you can discharge to 100%. Uh, we're not going to discharge to 100% often. I did discharge this to 100%. They have a, an impressive contactor. When you turn it on, that contactor clicks, opens, and closes. 
you don't see that with the other battery manufacturers we have my big gripe about Wiko is their packaging is very weak you can see that's just poor uh, when you transport it um, through our ports or through even the air by the time it gets to you they're damaged we've had too many batteries that are dented scratched and when I talked to Wiko, when I talked to Wiko the bullshit they gave me was well we did 20,000 last month and yours are the only two that are damaged I think it's absolute nonsense the Chinese package theirs in wooden boxes and the and the stuff 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 inside, and we could believe that you're going to put a 50 pound 50 sorry 56 kg battery over over 100 pounds in a plastic in a what do you call it in a in a box you know carton box and think that is going to arrive safely and you know it tells you just the arrogance of the Italians. Um, I do like the batteries, but I'm going to have to work on an alternative as to how I'm going to get the package and deliver to me. They're a little pricey, I mean they're a little pricey but the advantage I get is I'm able to get them from Europe here by air without too much of a problem. I'm trying to do the same with my Chinese batteries and I'll, up I'll update you. I'll talk to you about the last battery I use and then I will end the video. Actually this isn't the last battery but I've used this LIFP04 batteries. I have one installed for a customer and I have one running the, prop the properties attached to us. You know, the biggest challenge I had with these batteries was top balancing or bottom balancing them. I just couldn't get it done. But once I got it done, they've worked flawlessly. They have similar charge curves to lead acid batteries. So you could basically use any, um, the, any charge controller that you buy out there. As long as you do settings fine, they work very well. And so far, I've not had any issue. This one is damaged because it just started puking fluids. So I don't know why it decided to die, but... I don't know if it's dead, but we're not using it. We've left, we've left it out here because it started to puke fluids. But they're LIF PO4 batteries and they work fine, no issues. Um, they're relatively inexpensive because this particular model you have here is old, so you find quite a few of them for practically nothing in the market. And you can use them to do your own power roll or your own backup, backup power. I've used it and it's worked fine, I have no complaints. I'm not sure how good the light, lighting is, but as you could see, uh, the Chinese company sent this to me in a box. Okay, you can see that? Okay, the box protects the batteries better. Uh, my Italian people decided to send me this, as you could see. You can see the damage that's done. So you, you could see, if you look, if you, you could see the box, you could see it's damaged during, in, you know, in transit. And if I can damage the box, definitely I could damage the batteries. One of the batteries we took out of the one of the weaker batteries we took out had a dent in it. And you know when you ex try to explain this to these guys, they tell you, "Well, oh, it's in a," you know, they tell you that they ship X Y Z instead of dealing with the issue. So look at the difference. The Chinese, our Italian brothers, you know, it's like, come on, give me a fucking break. Package it properly because this is this stuff weighs a lot. And what they're using to stuff it and what they're using to do it just doesn't work. It's not, I've had almost every shipment I've had from them, I've had batteries that are dented or scratched. And I don't know how I can get it into their head that it's just sheer stupidity on their part to use this kind of packaging. They're being cheap on something that cost me quite a bit. And then I, I deliver it to customers with scratches and, you know, dents and damage. It's just not acceptable. So this is the last battery I use. So this is the Dynas. Um, you know they're all the same chemistry, Dynas and Wico, LIFPO4. Uh, the packaging is what's different. The Dynas gives you an IP65 enclosure. For our climate, it's important because it gets very dusty and we have a little bit of a humidity challenge. So this begins to make sense. My one concern is the lack of a cooling fan so I'm going to assume that the batteries don't get hot to the point where they need to be cooled. Uh, they also give you a 10-year warranty like Wico. They don't give you the same cycle life. They don't give you the same amount of cycles as Wico. And I think Wico is a little bit ex 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 exaggerating theirs. Um, the Chinese will give you anywhere between three to 4,000. Wico is telling you 6,000. I don't see how that's possible. But you know what? If I get three or 4,000, I'm very happy. Um, so that sums it up for the batteries. I think we've covered everything. They cost less. And as you can see, they package it better. 
they cost less, uh, they give you a, flex a lot of flexibility option wise. So for example, this enclosure here, I can take it all the way to nine, almost 10 kilowatt hours. The, for me to get 10 kilowatt hours, I need two separate batteries from Wico. So right now this is 4.8. I got two more modules to get me close to 10 kilowatt hours, and then they have bigger. They have bigger ones. They come up with a smaller model that's about half the size and not as wide. That's the same capacity as what I have installed here. In about a month, you see it, and I'll do a video on it. So I hope that answers it. Um, when it comes down to which is the best, it really comes down to what you are willing to work with. For us, in order to scale, we have to have batteries that are already made by someone else. Um, for you at home as a DIYer, the Nissan Leaf is fine, the Tesla modules are fine, um, even the Fiat or the um, e-Golf batteries, they will do the job just as fine, as long as you're willing to take the time to build a, um, a BMS and then put the proper protections in them, they will work fine. Uh, the Nissan Leaf is the most common. Um, it doesn't limit you to particular voltages. The, tes the Tesla is either 24 volts for the Tesla uh, from the Model S or um, 48 volts for the Tesla smart batteries. The Nissan Leaf comes in different modules that are 8 volts each and you can configure them to get what you want for your power, power needs. So I hope that answered the question about um, the batteries that I've used, what I think, and if you have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. If you like what I talked about, give me a thumbs up. If you have to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.